Have you ever wondered why a reefer is called a reefer and a roach is called a roach? Hello, I'm Famous David and I admit to being a sailor. Here's a picture of my boat. Pretty, isn't she? I'm about to make a startling connection between smoking marijuana and sailing. Now I can't admit to being a marijuana smoker for two reasons. One, it's still illegal in Canada, and two, I'm not. I have a slight case of asthma, and smoking makes me cough. <coughs> However, during my long history of not smoking pot, I've often expected to learn why a marijuana cigarette is sometimes called a reefer, and why the butt is called a roach. I have my own explanation, and I had hoped to have had it corroborated in this book called Cannabis, A History, written by Martin Booth an award-winning author and authority on the subject. Though I learned many amazing facts in this detailed historical account, I did not learn the etymology of these two terms. Reefer was merely referenced as entering the vernacular during the Jazz Age without any further elaboration. A weak explanation was given for the term roach as possibly being derived from the moniker of cucarachas or cockroaches given to Pacha Villa's pot-smoking Mexican rebels. Hmm. Dubious at best since the term only entered our lexicon in 1938 and Villa died in 1923. Frustrated, I decided to write the author and put my theory forward. I did get a response, but it was from his wife, who informed me that, sadly, Mr. Booth had recently passed away. However, she did say that she had been his chief researcher, and though she had not come upon evidence to support my theory, she did say she was willing to believe it. That was back in 2004. Now, ten years later, I have yet to find anything that addresses the subject properly. A recent internet search provided a number of possible explanations for reefer, including being an alteration of the Mexican spelling of the word grifo, meaning a drug addict. Mm. Another possibility was put forth as resembling a rolled up sail. Okay, now we're getting somewhere because that is what I believe to be the origin of the word. After all, marijuana was used by sailors and thereby introduced around the world. So let's take a look at some rolled up sails to see if they look anything like a marijuana cigarette. Well, I'm sure we've all seen poorly rolled joints that look like this. These are a bit neater, but if we want to explain the term roach, we have to get away from the tall ships and look at triangular sails on sloops and schooners and yawls and catches which eclipse the square rigged ships. Here's a schooner. And here is a sloop, which is the most popular recreational boat today. And here is a reef sail on a sloop. Reefing a sail means to shorten it so that it catches less wind. At the end of the day, sails on a sloop are generally lowered and stored on the boom, fully reefed, which makes them look like a cigarette or a reefer, particularly if the boat is equipped with roller reefing, which allows the entire sail to be wrapped around the boom, and in some cases, inside the boom. Here is a reefer. And here are two examples of reef sails. In order to determine why a roach is called a roach, we need to look at the anatomy of a marijuana cigarette and that of a triangular sail. Here's what a reefer looks like after it's lit. And here's what the butt or roach looks like just before it's snuffed. And now on to the anatomy of a sail. Note that the sail is not a perfect triangle. And what do we call the area of the sail that exceeds beyond the hypotenuse? The nautical term is roach, and defined as the amount by which the leech of a fore and aft sail projects beyond an imaginary straight line between the clue and the head. So if a rolled up sail is called a reefer, then the part that's left over, when most of it has been smoked away, has to be called a roach. And that is why a reefer is called a reefer, and a roach is called a roach. I'm Famous David, and I'm happy to be contributing to your knowledge of interesting trivia.